Now, many of you are working like, like I'm working during the game, but if I was just a spectator, that was a heck of a basketball game for December. Um, you know, we, we, uh, we thought we had a good plan against Syracuse until you see that, that zone, how quick it is, how they, you'll have these little windows to try and get open shots or open opportunities, and they close so quickly. And that took us a while to get used to it. And uh, they, they obviously have a talented team also, but both of us are, are, are you know, the, the, the NBA and seniors have, have left, and we're both regrouping to try and get the best out of our team. So really uh, pleased we have such a great crowd, show Syracuse such a great atmosphere, and come away with the W. Coach, out of that timeout at 61 with about a minute left, uh, what were you telling them to do, and were you looking to go to Spike on that play, or what were you doing? No, I mean, it's really hard to go to somebody against that zone. You just got to, we, we tried to get an action that would allow them to either we get a ball screen or we just, I, I urge them to move in. I mean, sometimes we attack the zone from too far out, but somebody's going to have to make a good, a, a big shot. But we, it was a very simple scheme that, that worked well for us. The, the more complicated we got, the worse we were. So we got very simple during that time, and we were going to look for opportunities to get in the high post or swing it out, and if somebody had to just step in and knock it down, knock it down, we're going to have to shoot it. Right here on your left with Chris, the offense seems to run better with Spike in there, talk about his contribution, and he seemed to attack the zone a little bit. Well, he's really good, and Derek is good as well at it, but Spike is really good attacking zones. He sees behind the zone, he see, he makes that entry pass into the in, into the dot area, into the, the, the high post area, better than anybody. So that's why we had him out there so much. Uh, Karras does it as well, but we wanted him to be more in a scoring uh, opportunity. But, you know, his, he had runners. He had, you know, uh, it, the, the big threes that they had to have. And then, obviously, the nine assists. Is, he's 16-0 and zero the last two games. Played really well. And Derek did, hadn't practiced in a week. And so I, I think that it was, it's good news we could get him out there. Uh, at the same time, uh, he didn't have the reps against the zone. We haven't seen any zone but a few minutes against Oregon State. So we, uh, Zach had all the reps this week. Or, or oh, spike it. Spike it. The three seem, didn't seem to fall the same way they did in the first like they were in the second. Were there any adjustments that you made during halftime to kind of... Yeah, it was a simple adjustment, really. And we only got about five open ones in the first set. We didn't get many, but we didn't make many of them. I think we made a couple guarded ones, but we didn't make the open ones. And then we, the whole message at halftime was, three, I didn't even say three for 17. I didn't want to put them into shock. But I said, we've got some open shots. You know, not a lot of them, but we're going to make them in the second half. That was, that was the only thing that we did differently. We, but as I said, you get a little bit more accustomed to the speed that you've got to move the ball, the way you have to ball fake to get people open. And then we changed a few other schemes we had to do just to get two feet in the paint. Right on your left with Adam. John, can you talk about your guys' ability to close if you had the 10-point lead and then uh, Spike, you know, with a big pass to Ricky, cares for the free throw, Spike with the three. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about your guys' ability to... Well, it was good. We almost didn't close, though, but that had a lot to do uh, with the three-point shooting. Uh, the, the Cooney really could shoot, and he, he made 90 like Nick Stouse was last year. Uh, but this time, this time, he hasn't been shooting well, and we lost him a couple of times, and he made big shots for them. That really, uh, they, they're just, uh, to stop Christmas or, Mac or McCullough, they're just really good with that first step, and they can get by some of our guys. So I didn't like the way we closed defensively, but I don't know, frankly, you can do something about it. Uh, because Cooney made such good shots. Can I talk about the contributions that Ricky gave and also Cam on the boards? Yeah, that was uh, <coughs> the first half. I thought Cam, that would have been an eight point, ten point game at half if it wasn't for Cam. He really made some, he, he got rebounds, he, he saw out of the post, made a little 15, a couple 15 footers, I think. And he's still learning where, you know, he's going to learn for four years. But I mean, he's still learning all the time where he fits in what we're trying to do. And sometimes it's good and sometimes it's, well, okay. Let's watch the video. We'll get better. Uh, Ricky is really, I mean, we've been watching this. We saw it, I think I mentioned everywhere, we saw it in Europe like two games. We didn't see it in the other two. But we saw, oh my goodness, this guy, this kid had, is, can play above the rim and do some th really good things, and he competes. So then today, obviously, uh, he competed. For us to get 17 rebounds against Syracuse, that, I mean, people wouldn't, would, ever, would never believe that. And he battled, and I don't know how many he got, four or five, but we got some, we got some late, and just gave us extra possessions, which you need against Syracuse.